All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Now a play fake here on first down. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Unfortunately, Packers fans, they saw a lot of completions like that last year when they were number 31 in the league in passing defense. Now, I know injuries had something to do with that, but that's, that's a ship they're looking to right. They have to because what they do so well on offense, in some ways they're wasting by allowing what they're allowing on defense. So now you change things up. Do you play a little more zone where in the past you might have played man-to-man? -man? Do you back off of some of the schemes that you played before and emphasize something new? Bottom line, though, they've got to cover tighter and knock away a few of those passes downfield. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allows him to get home. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. First carry here for Ty Montgomery. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Now the Packers get set to go. Rodgers caught left side by Kyle and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48 seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch second down now after the pass completion Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Third down and three. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. And that is incomplete. 
I better raise my voice a little bit here because one thing we can already tell, even in the first year in the league with this new stadium, it's going to get loud in this place. Yeah, the old place was loud, but I think we're getting a sense that this place is going to be louder. Yeah, they're riding that momentum of that 2016 team that finished their year in the Super Bowl. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And he's going to be shoved down pretty hard at the seven-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a nice, sizable gain right there. And you've got to give credit to the offensive line because when you're dealing with a 3-4 defense, your job first and foremost on the defensive line is to hold everything up and allow your four linebackers to stay clean, as they say, with no blockers on them, and run to the ball and make a tackle. But on that play, to get that type of yardage, that means they weren't able to stay that clean, and they made the tackle downfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, that play was doomed right. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Freeman again. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Ryan now off the bootleg. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Here's the rookie from Wyoming. It's Brian Hill. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They go play action now. Ryan. And it's 
it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A Falcon first down, Ryan to his young tight end, Hooper. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They go play action here on first down. And the catch is made by Justin Hardy. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. Back to the running game. It's Freeman. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Off the bootleg, Ryan. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. And that'll set him back five. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, Ryan. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So on fourth down, off goes Matt Ryan, and on is another Matt, Matt Bryan. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. Well, they started this drive in as tough a spot as you can at their own one. So they're able to march it into field goal range and get three. I thought that was a very poised, dare say classy sort of a drive. Backed up in the shadow of your own end zone, yet you come out of it and put points on the board. Well executed. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. We always talk about how important speed is in the game of football. Deion Jones may be an undersized middle linebacker, but his speed allows him to get to just about anywhere on the field and make a play. And between he and Keanu Neal, the Falcons took the top two spots in the NFL in terms of rookie tacklers a season ago. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard right around the 31. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go.
So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got his target, it's Cobb. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. For Jordy last year, tremendous. NFL's comeback player of the year, 97 catches, over 1,200 yards, and led the NFL 14 receiving touchdowns. Well deserving to be the comeback player of the year, but I know these types of competitors, they don't like to be the ones to come back from anything. They just want to be consistent, and Jordy Nelson is definitely that. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Clock running under a minute to go now here in a fast-moving first quarter. Rodgers now on first down. Caught left side, Benner. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That throw good for four. It's second down. Have you gotten used to seeing Martellus Bennett in number 80? <laughs> I mean, he's been number 88 his entire career, right? And how about that? The fans selecting his jersey number. Yeah, that was his idea. He put that out there on social media and said, here, here are a few choices. What should I wear? And he went with what the fans picked. Over 100,000 people weighed in. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And Adams has it, complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. incomplete it'll be second down but well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore i kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football because if it's popped up in the air it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team montgomery back to the ground <laughs> And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. 
jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. So five yards remain now, still first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Here's Rodgers, operating from the gun. Uh, he's got it. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the eye, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's go back to what you talked about before, getting his feet down. Would you say dotting the eye? Mm -hmm. I can cross the T as well. That was excellent footwork to get in bounds and make a great catch. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now, that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelmed because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Ty Montgomery taking it in from two yards out, and the Packers are able to cash in for six. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating, will we have to make the call? They already had it lined up, never even got to it. beyond now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. 
Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Montrevious Adams. Breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. On second down, Freeman. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. When you think of Mike Daniels, you think of strength. Hard to knock off the football, but surprising quickness and ability to move and evade people. How about that play there? Well, he can squat 600 pounds, so that's how he caught people's attention coming into the league, and he caught our attention right there. Ryan. And he goes out bounds across the 40-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because Here's Matt Bosher now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Rodgers now on first down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. I know Devontae Adams really developed in 2016 as a receiver for Green Bay. I think he had plenty of incentive because when Aaron Rodgers breaks contain, gets out of the pocket, anything can happen downfield. You can find yourself open, can't you? And it makes Adams a high-volume guy. Week 7 and 8 last year, 25 catches. Highest two-game total in the illustrious history of the Packers. Caught by Nelson left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A good pick up there of 22. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And Rodgers has it over on the right side. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Richard Rodgers, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers add on to their lead.
the big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Crosby on now to kick it away. On oh, the return, here's Justin Hardy. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Now Ryan on second down. He completes it to Jones. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A phrase we said a lot last year, Ryan to Jones for a Falcon first down. Julio back-to-back all-pro seasons. Last year, over 1,400 yards, averaged over 100 yards per game, tops in the NFL. And that's the stat that catches my eye. Over 100 yards per game, and you always hear about defenses saying, we can rotate, we can send people in this direction, we can do things to limit a wide receiver. Yet Julio Jones averages over 100 per game. One of the most sensational stats I've seen in recent football. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. And on second and ten now. to throw again. Ryan hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Field now. Here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. And that'll bring up second down. A little too much air under that one. That could have easily been six points. Yeah, what kind of speed he has is almost impossible, we think, to actually overthrow him. But he did exactly that. I think he probably tried to get it out there maybe just a little bit too quickly. It's Freeman, and they'll get him down here at about the 42. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set, and that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams, but when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage, and that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Third and two, now Ryan. And it's complete, Hooper. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Opportunistic by the defense. I think many people thought Ty Montgomery would automatically go back to being a wide receiver this year, but it appears he's going to stay at running back. I know they drafted Jamal Williams from BYU, but Montgomery proving his worth. And he proved it, yeah, proved it last year. 5.4 yards per carry, fourth best in the league. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Rodgers to Montgomery on the draw. What a spin. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, Rodgers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Rodgers to throw again. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up on the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goal post. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. So no problems there with that one as they're able to put three up on the board. Yeah, it's pretty much a windless night. There's only a very light breeze, so it's a perfect night for kickers. And like you say, no problems with that one. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. 
Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Second down now after the incompletion. They go play action with Ryan. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. And now the Packers are going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Coleman now. And an alley to run. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Taking it about the 16. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. To Montgomery to begin the drive. A great move by Montgomery. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. All right, Larry, these two teams back out there as we get set and ready for this second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Draw play, Rodgers to Montgomery. And now running right through it. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you stop the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. 
And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. A spin. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And it'll be Falcon football as they take possession. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Second down and just one. Now it's Ryan. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. And now a tenth carry for Freeman. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They will run again with Coleman. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The Falcons on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. They run, Devontae Freeman. And he's gonna have the first down at about the 38. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Clay Matthews in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan getting it out left side to Sanu. That catch good for five. It's third down.
The Falcons on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 15. From the gun, it's Ryan. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Bosher now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? That throw good for four. It's second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. To throw is Rodgers. Going to throw again. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The Packers on third down. They've hit four of seven. Here it's third and two. Operating from the gun, Rodgers, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina 
had a 20 play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. The Falcons on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 16. Off the play fake, here's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. 18 yards the gain for number 18. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. This is Freeman. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. That's how you get right up off of the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Final minute now of the third quarter. On first down, Ryan. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Partner, our parents always told us that relationships were gonna be important in life. Taylor Gabriel knew Kyle Shanahan in Cleveland before he was the offense coordinator in Atlanta. Boy, that payoff for the Falcons picking him up. Yeah, last year he had more touchdowns actually than Julio Jones. He had seven, Jones had six. And good parental advice there, Mr. Davis. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. On second down, Ryan. And incomplete on the deep ball. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. The Falcons on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. Again, Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. 
What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Another carry for the workhorse tonight. Freeman showed off the juke, but still corralled shy of the five at the six-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Well, and just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. On second down, here's Ryan. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Now it's Freeman. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Bryant's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. It's good to be the kicker for the top offense in the NFL, and Matt Bryant was that in 2016. Led the league in scoring with 158 points. But boy, does Atlanta find him valuable. So dependable and clutch. And he's been valuable in this league for a while. Hard to believe he's been around since 2002. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Set to return, this is Jeff Janis. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They got the lead last time, had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Rodgers now on first down. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So the offense has it first and 10. Following the penalty, it's Williams. <laughs> And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, after those plays, the offense coordinator has to feel like he has balance in his favor. Threw it, then ran it, both for nice chunks of yardage. Now he feels like he's got things going in his direction, but the defensive coordinator, his guys are off balance a little bit. How does he set up, and what does he plan for on the next play? Is there a tendency there he can lock in on and maybe set his defensive call? And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Hey, hey, 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Ty Montgomery, his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers add six to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. beyond now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points? The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash, <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> Here's Sanu on the catch. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now Ryan on second down. It's caught over the middle, Hooper. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll make it second down. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now Ryan. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Third and two. Now Ryan. He finds his target, Fuller. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. So that'll back him up five. Here we go on first and 15. Ryan will throw again. throw he is incomplete the Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver and that'll bring up second down left, left, left. Left, left. Left, left. 
To throw again is Ryan. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing again, Ryan. And it's complete, Hooper. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now Ryan on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this third down try. Here's Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones from 17 yards out. And the Falcons cut into that lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him. Because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. And it is good. That cuts the lead now to 11-24, 13-hour score. Bosher to kick it away. This is taken at his four. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Richard Rodgers, that time. And it's second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now Rodgers throwing again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Nelson. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down.
Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Rodgers to Cobb. Good for a Green Bay first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. The Packers on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and five. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. handing to Montgomery and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line and the Falcons going to use another timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Rodgers looking to throw. This is caught. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. of six. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. On 
On second down, here's Rodgers. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Crosby puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. And here now come the Falcons. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big play. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Good night, everybody.